the obturator artery the obturator artery arises from the anterior division of the internal iliac artery in the pelvis it then enters the adductor compartment of the thigh through the obturator canal and just outside to the obturator canal it divides into the medial and the lateral branches it enters the adductor compartment of the thigh through the obturator canal and supplies it this is the obturator artery this is the obturator canal this is the inguinal ligament this is the external iliac artery that is a junction between the external iliac artery and the femoral artery the obturator artery originates in the pelvis just below the umbilical artery for a video on the internal iliac artery you can click on the i button after the passage of the obturator artery into the obturator canal it emerges into the medial compartment of the thigh that is the adductor compartment the obturator artery gives many branches in which they are divided as to pelvic branches and the extra pelvic branches the pelvic branches are also called as medial branches so the obturator artery divides into a medial and the lateral division and the medial division is also called as the pelvic division which gives many branches like the iliac branches the vesical branch the pubic branch These iliac branches supply the iliac bone and the iliacus muscle and then it anastomoses with the iliolumbar artery. So they supply the iliacus and anastomoses with the iliolumbar artery. The vesical branches supply the medial part of the urinary bladder and sometimes this vesical branch of the obturator artery can be much larger that it replaces the inferior vesical artery. that is a branch of the internal iliac artery so it supplies the medial half of the bladder remember the vesical meaning the urinary bladder so you can remember it easily it as it supplies the medial part as it supplies the medial part of the urinary bladder and the pubic branch arises around the obturator canal and it runs across the pubic bone in anastomosis with the pubic branch of the inferior epigastric artery This is the inferior epigastric artery and this pubic branch of the pelvic or the medial division of the obturator nerve anastomoses with the pubic branch of the inferior epigastric artery. So this is the pubic branch of the epigastric artery and the extra pelvic or the lateral branches. These are the anterior branch, the posterior branch and a acetabular branch the anterior branch of the obturator artery follows the inner part of the pubic ramus and it anastomoses with the posterior branch of the femoral artery and the medial circumflex femoral artery and this anterior branch supplies the obturator externus muscle the adductors of the hip joint and the skin over the medial thigh and the posterior branch it supplies the muscles those are attached to the ischial tuberosity and that muscle is the ischio cavernosus muscle and the acetabular branch it passes transversely to the ligament of the head of the femur and it supplies the femoral head and this branch usually arises from the posterior branch this acetabular branch enters the acetabulum through a gap between the acetabular notch and the transverse acetabular ligament and it also supplies the acetabular fat and it gives off a slender branch to the femoral head of the femur the origin of this obturator artery may vary among the individuals and in some cases the obturator artery gives off an accessory obturator artery that forms an anastomosis with the external iliac artery and this artery is called as the aberrant or the abnormal obturator artery so this is the pubic branch of the inferior epigastric artery in this artery is the abnormal or the aberrant obturator artery normally the pubic branch of the obturator artery anastomoses with the pubic branch of the inferior epigastric artery but sometimes this anastomosis is so large and well developed that a obturator artery appears to be a branch of the inferior epigastric artery so this is the inferior epigastric artery and the obturator artery appears to be a branch of this artery due to the large and the well development of this anastomosis
and this artery is so important because during the surgical procedures it can get accidentally injured and it causes significant bleeding which is particularly difficult to stop and this abnormal or the aberrant obturator artery is also called as the corona mortis or the crown of the death artery the importance of this artery that is during the surgical procedures it can get accidentally injured and it causes significant bleeding which is difficult to stop and in approximately 20% of the population the enlarged pubic branch of the inferior epigastric artery may replace the obturator artery and this replacement of the obturator artery with the pubic branch of the inferior epigastric artery is referred to as the replaced obturator artery so guys this is all about the obturator artery if you like my video do subscribe to my channel and do look at some of my recent videos and playlists